Okay, good morning. Welcome to Awesome Math 153. Awesome Math 153, sorry. Let's zoom in just a little. Okay, so we were in the review section of your uh, chapter about angles, and uh, we were talking about a couple of different clock problems, and I said, well, I'll give you a challenge clock problem. Okay. What is the acute angle formed by the hands of a clock at 315? Ooh. Mm. So first of all, draw in where the hands of a clock will well, be at 315. This will be, well... We got the 15 mark. This is the minute hand. The minute hand, okay. And then... Fifth, and then... Well, if, then uh, for the hour hand, it's just going to be a little past. Okay. So, it's about here for the hour hand, so... <laughs> okay, there's the hour hand. Great. So then... Well, we have to find out what one of these is and then divide it by four to find the single areas. Interesting. So, the way we could do that, well, we need to, this is a full circle, so we need to divide 360 degrees by 12. These are, there's 12 of these. Alright. So we get right here. We get each of these is a 30 degree angle. Alright. And 30 divided by 4. Well, we need to divide 30 by 4. Well, we can't, well, we can't divide 30 by 4. We can only put it in the 30. Form, but we can simplify 34 to become 15 halves. Okay, and what is 15 halves as a mixed number? 15 halves is 7 and 1 half. Okay, so how many degrees are in that angle? 7 and 1 half degrees. Wow. Pretty That's small angle. Pretty small angle. Pretty small angle. Let me give you one second challenge problem. Okay. Okay. Um, sometime between 315 and 320, these hands are going to cross, right? Yeah. Because our hand is slower than the minute hand. Our hand is slower than the minute hand. Do you think that's going to happen closer to 315 or closer to 320 when those hands cross? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it might be in, I think it might be at, like in the middle. Oh, okay. Because the hour hand has a, it's a little bit ahead mm -hmm. of the minute hand. So, it'll, it'll just get to the halfway point when it crosses there. Oh, that's an interesting question. What time is the hour hand exactly halfway in, in between? Hmm, well, this would be... Three. This is three fifteen here, yeah. and then this would be three twenty. Yeah. So it's gonna be three seventeen and thirty seconds. That's when the hour hand is exactly halfway yeah, between three o'clock and four o'clock. Two. When do you think the hour hand's gonna be halfway in between three and four? Three o'clock and four o'clock. Well, maybe, probably around three, th around three. Th 30. Yeah, around 3.30. Yeah, maybe, maybe exactly 3.30. How, why does that make sense? Because 30 times 2 is 60, and that'll get you 4. Okay. So, 3.30 will be a 0 degree angle. Draw me the hands of the clock at 3.30. So. There's the hour hand. Where's the minute hand at 3.30? The minute hand, it's right on top. That's 3.30? Well, three, we, it'll be, well, the 3.30 will be, because the minute hand will be. Ah, okay, so is that a zero degree angle, no. 3.30? No, it's not. Okay. Hmm. hmm. All right, so at 3.30, the minute hand's down here, and yeah. the hour hand's exactly halfway across. Yeah. Okay, so now, 
do you think, when or what time, where's the hour hand going to be when the minute hand and hour hand are exactly right on top of each other? Is it going to be ahead of that or behind of that? It's going to be, well, it's going to be, it's going to be behind. Behind it. And we know that because... If you advance it... The minute hand is going to have passed the hour hand here. Yep. But it's behind it here. So it'll be, so it'll be closer. So do you think the hour hand is going to be closer to the three? Or closer to the four when the minute hand's exactly on top of it? Well, I think it's going to be closer to the three. Okay, how come? Because, well, when the hour hand is, is, it, is at the halfway point, mm -hmm. the minute hand is ahead. The minute hand's ahead of it, yeah. And when it's at the one quarter point, the minute hand's behind it. So it'll be somewhere between the one quarter and the one half point. There you go. So it's closer to three. Yeah. Okay. Is that, do you understand that now? Is that confusing? No. No? Okay. All right. Good work. Good work this morning, hon.